This is VOA News. I'm Alexis Strofe. As tensions escalate, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken continued his diplomatic push through the region to prevent the violence from spreading. VOA senior diplomatic correspondent Cindy Sain. Amid the tensions, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken visited the United Arab Emirates. Earlier in the day, Blinken held talks with his Saudi counterpart in Riyadh. He again stressed that there can be no more business as usual with Hamas. Uh, Hamas is not representative of the Palestinian people or their legitimate aspirations for the future. Uh, Hamas is a terrorist group. The Saudi foreign minister said it is important to condemn the targeting of civilians in any form, at any time, by anyone. It will always be the civilians that suffer first. It will always be civilians on both sides that end up paying the price. Iran's foreign minister, Hossein Amir Abdullahian, called on Israel Saturday to stop its attacks on Gaza, warning that the war might expand to other parts of the Middle East if Hezbollah joins the battle. Cindy Sain, VOA News. As Palestinians stream out of Gaza in in an effort to heed Israel's warning to evacuate, the U.N. is warning Israel against the strategy. Speaking to reporters Friday, U.N. Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez said it has already led to a humanitarian crisis. The situation in Gaza has reached a dangerous new low. The horrific terror attacks by Hamas on Israel that killed more than 1,200 people and injured thousands more last Saturday were followed by intense bombardment of Gaza that has already killed 1,800 people and injured thousands more. The U.N. Secretary General urged Israel to rethink their plans, saying moving more than one million people is extremely dangerous and in some cases simply not possible. This is VOA News. People took shelter in Tel Aviv on Saturday as rocket raid sirens sounded across the coastal city. The Israeli military confirmed that rocket sirens have been sounded in Tel Aviv and surrounding cities as of Saturday night. Some 1,300 people were killed in a brutal onslaught that left Israel in profound shock. In response, Israel has subjected Gaza to the most intense bombardment it has ever seen. Gaza authorities say more than 2,200 people have been killed and nearly 10,000 wounded. Republicans in the U.S. House of Representatives nominated conservative representative Jim Jordan for Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. As VOA's congressional correspondent Catherine Gibson reports. The U.S. House of Representatives at a standstill, unable to pass any legislation sending aid to Israel or Ukraine until lawmakers hold a full floor vote next week to decide if conservative Republican Jim Jordan will become Speaker. Jordan, a nine-term congressman known for his investigations into the Biden administration, won the Republican conference vote 124 to 81 in a secret ballot. He now has several days to build support to get to the 217 votes he needs to be elected. Democratic minority leader Hakeem Jeffries is expected to win the support of all 212 Democrats when the decision goes to a full House floor vote. Catherine Gibson. VOA News. A new poll by the Associated Press NORC Center for Public Affairs Research shows that Hunter Biden investigations are leading to ethical concerns about President Biden. AP correspondent Mike Hempen reports. As President Biden seeks re-election amid investigations into his son Hunter and an impeachment inquiry, the poll shows 35 percent of U.S. adults think the president has done something illegal. The survey shows a third of respondents think Biden acted unethically but not illegally. And 30% say the president has done nothing wrong. The results reflect a political divide in the U.S. and skepticism about the morality of government leaders. About two-thirds of Republicans say they think Biden is guilty of crimes pertaining to his son. But only 8% of Democrats and 38% of independents agree. Mike Hemp in Washington. President Joe Biden has spoken with Palestinian President Mohammed Abbas and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, urging the leaders to allow humanitarian aid to the region and affirmed his support for efforts to protect civilians. The weekend calls came as U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken intensified diplomatic outreach across the Middle East and beyond to rally an international response to prevent the Israel-Hamas war from expanding. For additional stories 24 hours a day, visit our website, VOA News. I'm Alexis Strope, VOA News.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.